Walk out again, maybe arms across like you're doing a crunch. Look down towards your knees. And then as you feel your shoulders on the ball, you can rest your head on the ball. Reach your arms overhead and just extend over the ball. Take a couple breaths here. Arms across your chest. Walk those feet back towards the ball. Tuck your chin. You can support your head if you need to. Do a little bit of a crunch so that you come back up to sitting on the ball. And again, walk it out. Push so that your back is on the, the ball. Walk your feet forward a little bit and so that now your knees are over your ankles. Your shoulders and your head are on the ball. You can always put your hands on the ball if you feel like you need a little bit of support or just press your upper arms into the ball. But you wanna squeeze your bottom, lift your hips. See if you, this is a bridge. So see if you can just push upper arms into the ball, lift those hips towards the ceiling. Just squeeze in those glutes. Tuck the chin, draw that head back into the ball also. And then just rest your hips down, walk those feet back a little bit, you can stretch out again, just reach all the way overhead. Bring those arms up towards the ceiling and take the arms out into a T position. Just rest in a T position, letting your upper arms sort of open across the front of the shoulders. And then tighten through the bottom, lift the hips, walk those feet out a little bit again so that your hips and your low back are off of the ball. Knees are right over your ankles, but you've got nothing underneath those hips. Really tighten. See if you can open in the front of those hips and lift. Maybe you're pushing your arms into the ball. Can you take your arms and reach towards the ceiling? Squeeze those glutes, reach overhead, then up towards the ceiling. Tuck the chin, push the head back into the ball, reach overhead, reach to the ceiling. Rest the arms, walk those feet back so that you're resting the hips onto the ball. Little tiny back bend, reach overhead. Up to a high kneeling position. Forearms on the ball, lean on it, but press into those forearms, almost like we're kind of lifting that head up in a sphinx position. And then roll the ball forward and back. Really push into the elbows and the forearms. Draw that lower belly up, pubic bone draws up, tailbone drops down. So don't be in this position. Kind of lift that rib cage and lower belly up away from the ball as you press into it, forward and back. Now can you take it into a little bit of a circle? Press into those forearms, keep the chin tucked. and go the opposite direction of that circle. So you can rest your hands in whatever position, squeeze your bottom so that your tailbone drops down, lift the head, lift the chest, or you're resting it on the ball, whichever you feel like you can do, and then raise your arms up in that Y position. Breathe deeply into that ball. Let your belly really push into the ball as you breathe. Your feet are wide, holding you in this position so that you're nice and stable. Or if you want to challenge, maybe you can take your feet closer together. Then you're working more of the sides of your body.
Come to a T position. If you are getting fatigued in your head and neck, you can roll back so that you're more supported as you come to a T position. Again, it's whatever you need. The more you roll off of the ball, the more you have to work those back muscles. Thumbs are rolled up towards the ceiling, palms are facing towards the wall across from you. Feet are wide or take them narrower to get more of a challenge in the sides of the body. Press up a little bit, but we're gonna lift right leg. Extend that right leg up off the floor. How's your balance? Can you lift your left arm? Keep that chin tucked. How's your balance? Can you lift your right arm? I'm not sure I can. Woo. I start to roll if I lift my right arm. But that's what you want to feel. Can you hold that position? That causes me to roll. Good. Put the ball low on your thighs, on your low belly, and then walk it out. So your feet are going to come off the floor. The ball's rolling to your thighs. <clears throat> Shoulders are right over your forearm, or right over your wrists, and hold the plank position. So again, you get to choose. You could come back to your belly, walk your hands back, hold in this plank position here. Or you could keep walking those hands forward so that you get the ball rolls down to the knees thighs, knees, maybe you keep going and running out of space, but really draw that lower belly up. Keep it nice and flat. Don't let your hips sag, but hold that plank position. Wherever you are, wherever you feel comfortable, you're just going to shift your weight forward a tiny bit and then back a tiny bit. Forward a tiny bit, back a tiny bit. So as you shift your weight forward, feel like your legs really press into the ball and even pull up to that ball just a little bit. Make sure you're not sagging. Press the forearm or the shoulder blades towards the floor. And then walk it back. Can you come onto your forearm? Come back to that same position. Walk the ball out a little bit away from you. Now it's not tucked up underneath your hip and now it's gonna be a little bit harder. Take the whole forearm into that ball. Take that arm overhead. Now this is a strength pose. I want you to just do tiny little circles with your, with your elbow and your forearm. Take that shoulder blade away from your body. Press it into the ball. The down leg that's under you, squeeze your bottom. Keep a nice straight line. If you wanted to make a nice straight line, you could just to kind of see a nice straight line, but you're doing little tiny circles with this forearm. And then go the other direction with little tiny circles. The squishiness of the ball is giving you a little bit of resistance. Flatten the back. Hold that position of back flattening. Lower belly draws up and in. Now take the ball. Feet are on either side of the ball. Really squeeze that low belly, pressing the small of the back down to the floor. Feet are on either side of the ball. Can you squeeze it and lift it and then take it to your hands? Come to that start position that we use for tugboat. Take the ball overhead. Really squeeze your abdominals and then bring it back up. Take it to your feet. Bend the knees. Set the ball down. I don't want you to do it with straight legs, but bend the knees, set it down. Now, squeeze that lower belly. Lift the ball by straightening the legs. Take it to your hands. Take it overhead. Keep squeezing the abs the whole time. Take it to your feet. Bend the knees. Set the ball down. If you need to rest your feet on the ball, cat cow. So it's important to engage those abdominals, push the small of the back down. This is not easy. So you could always just kind of roll the ball up, make it easier, and then take it overhead. Keep your knees sort of towards your chest. That'll make it easier. Roll the ball down. There's so 
again, we're playing. Lots of options. And then take that ball overhead. Roll it right between your knees and just roll it down. Put your feet on the ball. Squeeze the belly. Roll the ball away. And then roll the ball towards. If you don't have a ball, you can always just hold our start position where we always go for core. The key to knowing how much you can do is, do you feel like the small of your back is straining or is the small of your back supported and your abdominals are engaged? So if you just keep your thighs straight up and down and just lift and lower the ball with your feet, you're engaging those lower, um, your inner thighs, squeezing the ball. And then take it overhead. So it's kind of more fun, right, than just doing regular core exercises. But you really want to keep all of your attention here. Set the ball down. Roll it away. That's a little bit easier. So set the ball down. Squeeze your belly. Feet on the ball and just roll it away. Push the heels into the ball, roll it towards. 